Boss makes sleek, form-fitting surround sound on a Harley reality. Both the BHD 3F and BHD 14 Harley kits are designed to be an easy weekend DIY install. All it takes is a little patience and a good amount of carbs to get you through the afternoon. Start by stripping the Harley. Disassembly isn't as intimidating as it seems. Just remember to keep track of every screw and component. Make sure that everything's in a safe place while you install. At least that's what mom says. And mom's always right. Start by removing the seats, saddlebags, and side covers, allowing access to the battery. Disconnect the negative and positive battery cables. Next, remove the gas tank. This will save you a lot of frustration feeding cables beneath it. Of course it's up to you, but I don't want to have to say I told you so. So moving on to the front, we face the fairing. We tear down the fairing. Continue by removing the OEM speaker grills, windshield, upper fairing panel, set aside the fairing. Say goodbye to the headlight as well. To be safe, we popped out the front speaker enclosures to avoid damage to the inner fairing. Optional, but endorsed. Let's jump over to the wiring harness housing and unclip the top cover to reveal the goods. Throughout the speaker and amplifier power harnesses along the factory wiring. The labels will let you know which end is which. Outputs, inputs. This is when we really start to get into it and there's no going back, but we're here to walk you through it. Get your saddlebags, flip them and mask them. Drill a hole so you have a place to route your speaker wire. Seat the rubber grommet into the hole. Take your saddlebag for a ride and place it back onto the bike temporarily. Grab your templates of reference. This will set us up nicely to start cutting into those beauties. Add your masking tape a few inches beyond where the templates will sit. Fasten the templates onto the lid, and at this point you should realize there is no turning back. Tremendous. The templates ask for some holes to be drilled around the perimeter. Don't stress, take your time, you can always cut more if you need. Breathe a sigh of relief as you pop the lids off. Clean off those edges, peel the masking tape off, and admire your handiwork. Carefully set the speakers into the saddlebag. Go ahead and place the speaker grill onto the lid. Seat the inner speaker mount and secure them down. Place the speaker against the mount with the terminals facing towards the rear. Place the basket over and fasten it down. Route the speaker leads to the saddlebag and finish up with that beautiful rubber grommet. This will lead us into assembling the speaker pods. Okay, let's switch out these stock speakers with something a lot more boss. Mount those fellows back on the bike. Onto the amplifier. Put the heat sink and the mounting plate in the appropriate orientation. Go ahead and connect the high level input harness and the output harness to the amplifier. Connect the amplifier power connector wires into the power, ground, and remote wires. Secure those down like you mean it. Here's an easy one, two, three. One, connect the amp outputs to the speaker enclosures. Two, connect front speaker input. Three, connect power to the amp. But before you call it a day, you should test and tune the system for optimal sound performance. You also want to reflash your head unit so the Boss audio system performs at its full capacity. You are now officially ready to play loud.